Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss about the dependency injection in Angular 15. In the previous video, we have discussed about the services and we have seen how to get JSON data using the services in the Angular. Now in this video, let's discuss about the dependency injection. So if we talk about the dependency injection, so this is the main feature which Angular framework Contain. And what is the meaning of the dependency in injection? So for an example, uh, like here you can see we have a class A and the class B. Now, class B is dependent on the class A. For an example, there is just some code that can be done only when we get uh, like based on the class A. So class B is like to do or to perform some operation of the class B, it has to access uh, from the class A. So it dependent on the class A. So that is basically a dependency injection. So basically dependency injection it is, is a design pattern where class receive their dependency from external resources rather than the creating himself. So that is uh, basically a dependency injection. Now let's if I will go on the Visual Studio and here we have seen like if I will go on the services what we have done we have created this method. What it do? it get the data basically a JSON data and based on that like we show the data in the HTML that we have seen in the previous video. So to print all this data basically on the browser this like we are getting the data basically from the student info and this student info we are getting from this service. So here you can see. So this student component is dependent on this services. So that is basically a dependency injection like to perform or to show these uh, student records what this component is basically dependent on this services. So that is the basically a dependency injection. So now if we talk about the dependency injection it's basically a combination of the dependency and the injection and what is the meaning of the dependency. So it is an object or the service which can be used on another object now for an example so basically that is the service so that we are injecting here you can see angular like this uh, component is basically dependent on this service so this is the dependency that we have injected on the constructor label now on through this object we are getting this method called get student parameter or uh, get a student detail and we are subscribing and we are getting the data so uh, that is the dependency now the injection it is basically a process of the passing dependency to dependent object and it create object of the class with the required dependencies that is the meaning of this now, means this is that basically a dependency class now we are injecting that class in the component label and that is basically we are injecting into the constructor so uh, that is the combination of the dependency and, and the injection in the angular framework Dependency injection contains three sections like injector, provider and the dependency. And what is the meaning of the uh, this? So basically like if you will uh, go on the services and here you will see. So the services basically what we have done. We have decorated this service class using the inject table. So basically what is the um, meaning of this one like this we can like basically this class can be injected on any other class like here we have injected this class on the constructor label. Now the thing is if we are going to create any service that we have seen in the previous video we have to assign it in the app.module.ts in the provider. Even we can uh, define so if we define in the app.module.ts so this service will be available across all the component which we are creating. If we want particular service to be accessible on the limited component or to the specific component then even we can provide uh, on the component level as well. So the injector is basically the main purpose of using injector section is the expose an object or the API which basically help us to create instance of the dependent class or the services. Now provider as I told you a provider is basically acting as a instructor or the commander. It basically provide instruction the injector about the process of creating instance of the dependent object. So basically what we do we, we have to do that provider like here we have to tell uh, about like uh, this service like this is need to be injected. If we will not write it this service will not 
works now as i told you like uh, this dependency injection we can do based on the app level and the component level so that we have seen like currently we are doing it on the application level so this service will be accessible across all the component even we can do it on the component level as well and another is the dependency so dependency is a processor type uh, basically identify the nature of the created object so that object basically we are creating on the component constructor so this is the dependency injection means if we want like if one class is dependent on the another class then we can inject that class on the constructor and through that object we can access that class methods or the uh, like any other like if we created any property or the uh, variable so we can access through that method so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you